Well, see, it's all bull, and it's easily proven bull. All you have to do is look at the facts. And it's bull right down to the idea that you have rights. Now, this is where things get a little sticky. Start telling people they have no rights, and they get really upset. How many people here think they have rights? Raise your hand. Hopefully, you too? Yes. Okay. You just doing that for effect? or Now, I've had people call the show, very irate, when I say, you don't have any rights. You tell me I don't have a right to life, liberty, and happiness? That's what I'm saying. What are rights? Anyone? You have to fight for it. Well, you're not telling me what they are. But what is it? <laughs> what is a right? A right is something you can protect. Uh, but it doesn't tell me what it is. My car is something I can protect. It doesn't mean it's a right. <laughs> we know that's not true. <laughs> now, a right is a legal claim. That's all it is. It's a legal claim. They only exist in your head. That's it. So I had someone, this guy, saying, you, uh, you tell me I don't have a God-given right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? I said, that's what I'm telling you. And if you think otherwise, I'll give you as much time as you need on the show. I'll have you come back on next week. Well, we weren't aware that next week wasn't going to be on. But you can come back on <laughs> and prove it. I said, now, I can prove to a certain degree right here on the show right now that you have life, liberty, and property. You have life because I can hear you. I can prove that. You have liberty because I'm assuming that there's no one standing there with a gun to your head. You, even if they are, you still made a conscious choice and have liberty, you're still talking. You have liberty. Property? I can pretty much presume that because you've got at least a microphone and an internet connection. So, this pro so these are things I can prove. These are tangible. I can make a case you have life, liberty, and property. Now make a case you have a right to life, liberty, and property. Okay? Now I know why Steph, he's not sitting there like this because he's saying this guy's full of crap. You know, some other people, who doesn't, who doesn't agree? Okay. We'll go through more where we'll, we'll address that after. We'll give you an opportunity to lay the facts out. Because when you start laying the facts out, you're going to come to the same conclusion many U.S. attorneys and prosecutors have come to. Don't exist. And it's not just because they don't re they refuse to acknowledge it, because they don't think you have rights to life, liberty, and property either, but for a different reason. Okay?